Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2019 Pigeon Forge Rod Run and I came across a 1949 Chevrolet pickup truck that's really nice. I think y'all are going to like it. Let me get the camera turned around and we'll take a quick look at it. Kevin, this is one cool truck, brother. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's a 49 Chevrolet 3100. We started it early 2017. Complete frame off, started with basically a $2,300 shell of a truck really <laughs> you got a truck for 2300 bucks title and yeah, everything just pretty much the title and the truck and it was pretty much a basket case and where'd you go from there basically started with a complete custom frame and worked our way up from there but the cab was was a good cab to start and then but we we were going to go with an ls so we knew we were going to redo the floors to put a tunnel in for the ls motor and so new floors new firewall to smooth the firewall and new cab corners Everything done right, taken down to the metal. And uh, just, you know, it was a full, every nut and bolt's been completely gone through, even probably, you know, more so two or three times because it was built, taken back apart to paint, and then built, uh, you know. And adjusted and all yeah. that, yep. yeah, yep. yeah. And it, I mean, it's, a, it's an old school truck, but you know, you got it laying on the ground, you got some steelies. I mean, what was the concept when you went in, dude, the look you were looking for? Yep, so we really wanted it to maintain the old school, 1949. If it was driving down the street, we wanted it to look like it was just straight from that era. But then we wanted to be able to pull into a show, drop it to the ground, and kind of wow people with the LS and the bed lift so that you could see the custom frame and see the LS motor. All right, man, it turned out, like I said, I thought that was just, I saw it in the parking lot, I was like, man, that is just a very cool truck. What color is it? Everybody's going to want to know that. Okay, so the color is a custom blue, and it, we wanted a solid blue and no metallic to keep that old school look. And we had a hard time finding it, but we found a late 50s Volkswagen color, and we basically took that and started blending from there. And my wife's name is Sally, and I'm Kevin, and we named the color Saki Blue, S-A-K-E. Oh. So it's called Saki Blue. Uh, for we both kind of had to do so a lot of. So you can get the color if you. What company made it? Um, it's Exalta Paint. Um, you can know, you go to Exalta? And Exalta get, Chroma Premier. And get that color? Uh, we're not sure yet. We're yeah. kind of hanging on to that code uh, to keep it unique. I got you. That's cool. And so, what LS motor does it have in it? It's an LS1 out of a 99 Trans Am. And what tire size are you running on? Um, so the back's running a wide 295, about 11 inch wide tire. Man, you're hiding that. Yeah, like but crazy, it's hitting this kind of big. So it's a you know big big back wheel. We mini tub. You would it. never guess it. Yep, no. it's amazing. And then the, they're 245 on the front, so it's got just a really good solid feel. Two damn big whites on those steelies, and they just look like them skinny old tires you would find on a truck of this era, you know. Yeah. And I'm sure there's some people you need to give a shout out to. Yeah, so Young and Heart Customs, Ryan Close, he was the builder, and he's an, just an amazing, talented guy that he's got that engineering mind. I got you. Did he do interior and everything? He did everything but the interior. We, we subbed that out only because we were kind of saving a little bit of time. Right. But amazingly, he built the whole truck in 18 months. Wow. Well, brother, it turned out, and I'm so glad you brought it to the Pigeon Forge Rod Run. Thank you. Thank you. It's been great to be here, and uh, we appreciate the attention. So there you go from the 2019 Pigeon Forge Rod Run Spring Edition, a 1949 Chevrolet 3100 pickup. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.